hello from craft creators and welcome back so today I'm just gonna do a quick video on how to do a faux wood grain um, ornament um, I'm actually not gonna do this color I think y'all seen enough of my videos with this kind of color latte uh, I believe is one of them I use a darker brown and a lighter brown or, or a yellow so to do to achieve this color um, today I am going to do a green and a red one so I don't know if I'll show you both but we'll just see how the time goes on the video but before I do any of that please like subscribe hit the bell and then let's get started okay so the first step in this is I just got some of these oval m m shape bulbs that I purchased at my local Michaels um, they have them in different spots I've seen them at Hobby Lobby I've seen them in different places so you should be able to get find these pretty easy or something similar um, so I took of course this top piece off so that I could spray paint it um, wiped it down with alcohol the way that I would do anything else um, and then I spray painted it white I just use what's the name of that spray paint um, Krylon I think um, the two-in-one primer paint white um, to spray one side let it dry completely spray it again let it dry completely and then spray the other side twice as well so that I have a nice um, even coat across the ornament and from there I just let it dry and now we're gonna start the process of actually um, painting the wood grain ornament it's just like all of my other wood grain but when I posted these on Etsy and some of the Facebook Facebook groups that I'm in I got a lot of questions on how to do it so I just thought I'd do a quick video um, if you are not uh, part of the family as far as my social media sites please find me at Procrast Creation DIY on Instagram on Twitter um, and then you can buy these if you don't want to make them or at my Etsy shop which is Procrast Creation it doesn't have the DIY on the end so and I also have a Facebook page a Facebook group Procrast Creation DIY join that group so you can see all my stuff all right so Again, we're going to get started because I did more talking and I said let's get started. So now we're really going to get started. Okay, so to just let you know what we're starting with, um, we're starting with 91% alcohol, um, makeup brushes of varying sizes. I don't really know if you need the big one. Um, I keep alcohol in a little cup. Uh, while I'm here someone asked how do I clean my brushes I just use the alcohol and continue to wipe on a napkin until my um, brush wipes almost clear um, I have the ornaments of course I have some thread with just a pencil sticking up so that way when I finish and I want it to dry I can just stick it on that my own little whatever um, and then I have for the red one I'm going to use watermelon poppy seed and sunset orange um, and for the um, green one I am going to use botanical citrus and possibly this patina so um, now that I've said all that I really am going to start this process I think because of the size of these not working with a tumbler or anything I'm just gonna use this size brush to start um, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of alcohol into my little cup here and wet my brush as you can see I wet it and then I dry it off quite a bit because I just want it damp I don't want it super wet um, and we'll just start with the green colors I have glitter everywhere y'all so glitter is getting all over my ornaments um, 
so in this case you could just put a drop of each color on the actual ornament but I'm gonna try to put it just on the brush so a drop of two of each color like that and then I am just going to brush it on to my ornament making sure that I get the top and the ridges all the way around so this bulb was again primed with uh, white spray paint that was primer and spray paint in one um, and once I get it completely coated like that um, the next thing that I do will be to um, and you don't want to brush too hard because you can pull the white paint off so you kind of want to let this dry some if you can in between so you don't pull your paint off because you don't want it too wet because then it'll pull that paint underneath up so you know you want to give it ample time to dry which is why I'm talking so much right now so that I could do that um, and then I am just you don't necessarily have to do this step because you're just making it everything a little bit wetter but I'm just putting a little bit more a few more drops on and then I'm gonna start brushing in Woo. that was too many drops apparently so I guess if you want to make it darker this is what you do just go ahead and add yourself some more coats and you will get a darker green or a darker whatever color you're trying to use so that so again you have that darker green you can add decals onto these or you can just leave them the way that they are um, so I'm gonna go with a smaller brush now again dampening the brush and drying it off because you don't need it very wet um, and then I'm just gonna start pushing the alcohol ink upward or you can push it downward depending on what your what look you're going for or where you want a knot so i'm just going to do a knot this way and i'm going to do it where it goes around to the other side So if you see that, you have that first little ring on both sides. And then from there, I'm just going to push up and add another ring. And again, you want to use as less alcohol and alcohol inks as possible once you start this because you don't want to um, weaken or thin out the paint that's on here so there is that second one there and so I'm gonna push I have enough ink on here where I feel like I can do another one without adding more ink And there you have another one there and then here I am just gonna add 
one drop oop, two fell down in there of the darker ink and then I am just going to move that ink around a little bit to get it dark where it's starting to lighten up some let that dry a little bit oh I wonder if y'all can hear my family in the background they have just come home I am excited um, and they are talking loud in there so now my brush is getting too big so I'm gonna use my smaller brush again dipping it in the alcohol and then wiping it off on my paper towel and then going back in here and then just adding another layer and like I said you just got to be really careful with how much alcohol you have and how much alcohol ink you have on your um, ornament so that you don't have a mess on your hands or you get a hole into your design ah oh, look at that right there so that is pretty much that process look at that super super cute and now you, if you've watched any of my videos before you know I like to have little lines on mine so I'm just gonna do that same thing because I feel like it gives it more of a wood grain look when you do this um, so I'm just dipping in my alcohol wiping it off and then just making lines all the way around my little project here So, and do that. Ah, my fat fingers. Okay. So again, just making sure I hit all the way around. And that is that. Look at that. Cute, cute, cute. When it dries, I'll put the top back on it. I can do all kinds of, you know, I can use ribbon. I can use some little boa material to make that super, super cute. Um, but that's pretty much that. Um, some, like I said, to clean your brushes, you just want to make sure it gets in that alcohol ink and you just rub, rub, rub until you get most of the color you used out. Um, and that darker becomes lighter especially if you're going to do another color right after um, I would definitely make sure or have a different set of cut brushes for your other colors but I ain't doing that so that's that for you guys so I am going to use the Krylon clear glaze coat on top of these but I wanted you just to see ooh, 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 ooh. super cute super easy super quick so you can do this yourself or you can order from my Etsy shop so either way thank you again for watching see you all next time